to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the newest acquisition of the New York Giants, that being Javon Askew Henry, formerly of the XFL. He played for the Guardians, and he's played in the NFL as well. He's from West Virginia. He stands at six foot, just over 200 pounds, and expect him to try to compete for that nickel position for the New York Giants, and to give the Giants hopefully some versatility. From what I've read about him, he could play some safety, he could play some slot corner. Sounds a lot like love. Um, and this seems to be something that's becoming more and more popular over the last couple of days. Of course, word came out, I think, two days ago that teams were going to be allowed to start bringing in XFL players. I had a number of my subscribers tell me to start to look into XFL players that the New York Giants could bring in, and this makes sense. He played for the New York Guardians, and we've talked about on my streams how the Giants want some versatility in that secondary. Well, a guy like this may allow love to, you know, move around if he could make the football team. We'll have to wait and see. He remains a long shot, but he's had several, you know, stops throughout the NFL before getting an opportunity in the XFL this year. As far as the XFL goes, I mean, I think that is kind of what is great about the XFL. I think it gives players like Henry the opportunity to show their skill set, and it's almost like an audition for NFL teams. Henry obviously played, uh, you know, with the Guardians this year, but before that, he had stops with the Jaguars, Steelers, and Patriots. With the Patriots is where Joe Judge obviously saw him. And maybe Judge sees something in him that he thinks, you know, he could bring to the New York Giants or at least compete um, and maybe be, a de you know, somebody off the bench that could help the New York Giants out in the secondary. But we'll have to see if he gets an expanded role. But I wanted to jump into some of the things I was able to pull up about Henry before I made the video. First, we're going to talk about the tweet that was reported by Ian Rappaport. Another XFL player making the jump to the NFL is defensive back Javon Askew Henry. He's agreed to a two-year deal with the Giants, source said. Now, we don't know the details, but I would assume it's close to a league minimum contract. Expect the cousin of Darrell Revis, who played for the New York Guardians, to compete for the nickel role. And that's another interesting thing. Darrell Revis' is cousin, so maybe, you know, maybe he picks up some things from Revis. Revis, obviously, arguably, the one you know, one of the top three or four corners in the history of the league. We remember him from his time with the Jets. Next thing we're going to pop up is, um, you know, just talking about his stops throughout the NFL. Prior to joining the Guardians, Askew Henry signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars as an undrafted rookie free agent out of West Virginia in 2018. He later spent a brief amount of time with the New England Patriots before signing a reserve futures contract with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And last year, of course, the Giants picked up Tuzar Skipper off the uh, Steelers roster, so they've had some history there with that as well. Um, obviously, I think the strongest connection here, though, is one, he played for the Guardians, so maybe the Giants got to look, look at him there, but two, he played with the Patriots, and maybe he even has some maybe special teams, um, you know, experience. Uh, Joe Judge, of course, the special teams coach, usually guys that are fringe roster players try to compete on special teams, and I'm sure, you know, Judge got to look at him there, and that has something to do with this, with bringing this guy in, and it really... Uh, uh, Gettleman, to me, is not making these decisions. He's definitely involved, I'm sure, but the coaching staff is making a lot of the player personnel decisions. And then finally, I wanted to pull this up. I got this off of NFL Draft Network. I was able to go back um, when he was coming out of school, what they had to say about him. He was actually a four- to five-star recruit, um, and these were the pros and cons. The pros, he can stick the bulk area with good physicality and short area quickness. Good filler outside, scans the field well. Solid traits for coverage, hip mobility and sound technique, NFL ready frame, and the ability to cover a variety of receivers. Solid open field tackler, good long speed necessary to play free safety or in the slot, which is exactly what they're bringing him in here to do. Sounds a guy that's a lot like Love. So we'll see if he could crack the roster and have an impact. In terms of the cons, takes poor angles far too often. Though he sees the field well, he will consistently overrun the ball carrier and miss tackles as a result unsure at times of when he needs to attack the line of scrimmage and make tackles. Can catch tackles and not drive through the ball carrier. Poor, poor angles get him in trouble to cover deep. So there you have it. At least when he was coming out of uh, college, that was the book on him that he didn't take the best of angles. Maybe not the most sound football player, you know, but a guy that has the speed and athletic ability to guard guys in the slot and play the safety position. So Nothing wrong with this. It's a guy that, you know, hopefully can compete and try to make this roster. And it's a guy maybe you want to keep an eye on and root for if we have training camp, which I think we will. But, uh, yeah, the New York Giants bring in Askew Henry, the uh, former safety for the New York Guardians. So he won't be going very far 
Um, and like I said, he has a connection to Joe Judge, as that continues to be the theme throughout this entire offseason. As always, guys, if you like what you watch, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.